Hello, this is Joseph. Um, I'm a little sick right now, but I just wanted to throw out another screencast on RiotJS. And this is to address sharing data outside of Riot. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of situations to where you have an object in mind um, with data that you have in it that you want to put into a Riot component, and you also want that data to be synced back to your object. Um, so I'm going to go over using the Riot Observable system and um, a little bit of JavaScript to understand what's happening. Okay, so actually let me go ahead and delete this. To get started, the previous tutorial I did was we just made another component and shoved all these uh, write components into it so this way we can control the flow or the logic of when someone checkbox this, go to the other component and set the hide flag to true or whatnot. So what we're going to do instead is not actually create another component, but just use the observable system to go ahead and set data um, between the, the object that I have and the Riot components. So the point of this is uh, when we check or uncheck, we want to hide and show this. And this is already based off of uh, a condition here. So here we have a Riot expression saying that if, if it doesn't have a middle name, go ahead and hide it. So if we set this to false, we then get it hidden. Um, and if we set it to true, vice versa. But the thing is, is that if we just do app dot, um, actually I'm defining app down here. So if I just say app dot has middle name equals true, nothing happens. So it's just, <clears throat> it's not, it's not fully working. And also you notice that this breaks and I'll go into a little bit as, as to why that's, that's breaking too. Um, or not breaking, but not showing hiding. So, okay. So, I have uh, a couple variables here or properties for the object, and I have a getter and setter. Um, and the getter and setter just takes the the value, sets the has middle name, and gets it and whatnot. I, I'm only using um, regular JavaScript functions as a getter and setter because if you use the the object property of like define property and you set a getter and setter value for that. When you use the observable system, things won't trigger because if you just specify the actual property setter, it doesn't know it's supposed to be the setter and instead it just tries to trigger the getter method. So, okay, uh, enough talking. Let's let's do something here. So we have my app initialized, my, my object, and I want to get this into all of my components. The easiest way to do that is just go ahead and actually pass it in as a <clears throat> as an option. So we're going to say app dot app, and this will give me access to that. And then I'm only going to do checkbox for now. Um, this way we can make it a little bit shorter. But we want to have a way to listen to if the value has changed um, and and re react to it. So the easiest way to do that is let's just say um, this dot map equals ops.app or just an empty object and then we're going to say this dot on uh, mount function and before we do this this is this is one thing you probably want to decide on and as this isn't really specific for riot observables you can use any observable system out there and also integrate it with riot if you want to um, the Riot Observable system is very, very simplistic. It doesn't have all the features as all the other observable libraries out there in JavaScript. So it's something to keep in mind. But effectively, what I have to do anyways, and if you didn't do it on this object, you have to do it somewhere else, is you have to do riot.observable and specify the object while well, it's self-reference of this. And this will give me certain methods on top of my objects, such as on, off, once, and trigger. So what I'm saying here is that when this is mounted, I want to set up uh, a listener for uh, for the value of the name that I have. So I'm using this dot name here, and this and this dot name is coming from the name of the component. And so the point of this is I want to say that this dot app um, dot on. So I'm going to listen basically. I'm going to say uh, this dot name so if it's like first name last name whatever else um, and I'm just gonna say dot change for now 
you don't have to really specify a dot anything, but the way that a write observable system works is that if you just have a, a dot after uh, any other names or other dots, when you do ask um, or trigger an event for just that one specific name without the dot, or you listen to that specific name without the dot, you can get all the events specific to that path. I'm going to say function and make this a bit bigger. I'm going to expect a value to come in. So here I'm saying that okay, if if this component's name dot changed was triggered, I'm going to get the value and I'm going to go ahead and set it. So I'm going to say um, actually I should just say checked because I'm just doing a checkbox. So self dot checked equals uh, checked and then I probably want to do an update so then I can say self dot update the other thing I probably want to do is um, when it's unmounted so this dot on unmounts And I'm going to turn it off. So this dot app dot off. And if I say this dot name plus dot change. Now here's the issue. If you only specified something like this, this will remove all the listeners for that that is listening to that specific event. And that's not something we want. So we have to specify the method that we also used. So we have a couple options here. We can take this here and then toss it into uh, another function that we can reference, or we can just set it as a variable, reference the variable. But I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and make an actual uh, method to, for we can copy. And so I'm going to say this dot set checked equals function. I'm going to say checked. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Uh, self dot checked equals checked. And I'm going to remove the update for now since it's it's not going to actually need to update this checkbox. But in another way, she should be able to do that. So now I can go ahead and set the method um, that the event's going to bind to. And this way, when I do off, it's only going to remove it for this specific component because the, the method is from here, the component itself. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is um, do a trigger, and we basically want to say when this when this checkbox is checked inside the component, go ahead and actually trigger a change event. So now we're going to say this dot on trigger function. Oh, sorry, this dot update, and then we're going to say this dot app dot trigger. So for whatever reason we set the value inside of this, um, we're going to then ask for the same thing, this.name dot change, and then we're just going to pass the value of self dot checked. So recap what we're doing here is when this component's mounted, go ahead and create a listener. When this component's updated, go ahead and emit an event. And then when the component is removed, go ahead and remove the listener. All right, so the next thing we also need to do with this is when this actually is checked um, or changed effectively inside the DOM, um, set the value to it, set uh, checked. Because right now it's not do it's not even doing that. It's just, it's just taking the value. It's not really saying on change or anything. So we're going to say on change. And we're going to specify another function. We're going to just say changed. And the reason why we're doing this is because the way that uh, we access the, the change value passed in as the parameter is different. So we're going to say changed equals function. And then we're just going to call in so self.set checked. Um, it will be e.target. checked. 
Now, also, you notice I'm not calling update here. Um, again, when you're when you're calling uh, a method in a function inside of an event like this, update gets called automatically. So you don't really need to actually have update here, like I said prior. And that's why I just sort of removed it here. You can have it if you needed to, or if you're trying to do it outside of the actual event. Um, but I'm going to show you guys to do uh, another way of updating all your components rather than updating them individually. Okay. So this is more or less set up. So basically, if this is checked, we're going to emit that event. Um, and so let's let's start to look at this a little bit. So here we have set has middle name, um, and then get has middle name. I don't, I don't think we really need to get it, but that's that's fine for now. And then what we're going to do is say uh, this dot on, and we're going to say has middle name. And we're going to set this to the, to the setter function or method that we made. Oh, forgot the dot change. So basically saying, now we're going to listen to this event. And when that event happens, we're going to trigger this. And this is how we're going to synchronize the checkbox Boolean of true or false back into this primary object. Now again, this isn't just um, specific to Riot. You can use any observable system you want, but you don't effectively have to do this. You're going to have to set up some common way to communicate with that observable system and either pass it as a global or access it as a global, saying like app dot whatever. Um, so now we're going to have that, and let's go ahead and see what we've done so far. So we're going to have app dot get as middle name, and it's set to a string. That's odd. And I check it. He is not defined. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to put in the uh, the parameter for my function here. So if I refresh it and I call, I get true. And now if I uncheck it, I get false. And I can just reference the actual um, variable itself. So now we have synchronization between. Actually, I should probably make that bigger so you guys can see it. So now we actually have the synchronization between the component uh, check value with my object checked value. The other thing I wanted to do though was say that when this was checked, go ahead um, and show middle name. So here we have the middle name and it's bound to uh, the hide option for the element. And we just have it as an expression. And so this, were, this was important to understand because this is not this has nothing to do with right basically an expression you can treat as an object and so here's here's the issue that you're going to run into with JavaScript and also why you run into the issue of using um, property getter and setters versus just an actual uh, function that's a getter and setter if in JavaScript you have a equals one b equals two or uh, a and then c equals b. When I emit c, I'm going to get 1. If I emit b, I'm going to get 1. And if I emit a, I'm obviously going to get 1. Now, if I change 1 to 2, or 1 to 2, a is now that. But if I emit b, I still get 1. And if I emit c, I also get 1. So let's change this a little bit. Let's say a is equal to hide false and I'm going to say B is equal to A and C is equal to B now when we set A dot hide to something else let's say A dot hide is equal to true when I emit C it is also true and when I emit B it is also true so here's what's happening when you set a variable to a value, as long as that value does not change, it's going to be mirrored. But the value itself is basically, you're gonna to have to become an object. That's either a function, um, an array, or the, the, the actual object. And so when I'm doing a.hide, I'm not changing a at all. I'm just changing the, the dot hide. So if I did, if I did, um, a equals hide false again. If I emit C, 
I still get my old value that I had assigned to it. So it's no longer linked together. And so with that understanding, I am now going to tell you why um, this isn't necessarily working as it should. One is actually has to do with Riot. Because I'm, do, I'm doing uh, my updates within this component, this component has no relation to this to the text box field component for middle name. So it has no idea that it needs the update. And so the way that I can fix that is say when this is set, just do riot.update. And this would in effect um, update all the components if the data is changed. So when I do do checked or not, it should technically show and hide it, but it still doesn't. And here's why. And this has to do with what I just said. The hide um, um, expression is calling into this.hide. This that hide is not pulling from ops, it's pulling from ops that hide. And so that again goes to if you reference a, a value um, and it's not an object function or an array and you change it, it's not going to synchronize. So the only way that we're going to get this to work if we actually change this to ops dot hide. Now I don't really like doing this, but if, if you were in the position to where you don't really want to make another component and you're not going to be you know, swapping out the entire object or whatnot, then you can do that. So when I refresh this, I now get that. And so just to recap, to understand what we did, we basically said that um, this expression is a function. And this function is being assigned to, to the ops.hide. So when this is called, um, the value returns is, is consistent with the value of the, the app function I have here. So yeah, I mean that's a way that you can basically share your data outside of it. You still have to do some legwork um, between your base object and uh, some system, some observable system. You could technically um, not even use the observable system and just call app.set. Like here you can just say um, on update app dot set set has middle name and then the value itself so you don't really need the observable but the nice thing about the observable system is that if this function didn't exist let's say something nothing's really technically listening to it then you're not going to error out in your application you're not going to have this tight coupling between that object that you have outside of it and the the data that you have inside this object and so I highly recommend uh, observables, um, right? It's very simple. Uh, it, it should be good to be used for most things you, you want, but if you want a really good observable system, there's plenty of out there um, to choose from.